In our video, we're going to take a look at how to create this ice cube tray. So let me kind of rotate it around so you can see all the unique features. And So let's get started. First thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to create a folder over here. To get that even to even get that up, I'm going to have to click the data panel, right? And I'm going to just start and create a new project. And I will just call this folder ice cube tray. I'm going to go ahead and create that folder. And then when it's what's created, I'll double click in there. And there's my folder. So I'm just going to go to file and say new design. Now one habit we should probably go ahead and start getting into is saving things before we get going too far. So I'm actually going to go up here before I even start with the sketch. See how it says untitled. I'm going to go up here and hit the save icon. And I'm just going to call it ice cube tray. And I'm going to save it. So you can see it's already there, and that's going to be helpful as we move down the road. We got we start getting into that habit, and then we'll get auto saves. So if a computer would lock up on us or anything like that, we're at least going to have something there, right? Okay, so I'm going to close the data panel to make my screen bigger so I can draw bigger. So I've got me a new document. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to Assemble, and I'm going to say New Component, right? And I'm going to go ahead and name the component. Instead of component 1, I'll just call it the ice cube tray. Before we get going, I'll go to document settings. And I want to make sure that my units are in inches. If not, if they're not in inches, we'll just click right Or we can just hover over units and change it by clicking the icon to whatever units we need. In this case, we do need inches. All right, so we're ready to start. I'm going to go ahead and click create sketch and then I'm going to pick a work plane. I usually start right here with the XY and I'll go ahead and start getting the rectangle in. I'll click the rectangle in, start on the origin and the horizontal line is going to actually be 12 and then I'll hit the tab key and make the other side 4. So 4 by 12 or 12 by 4. So if I look at that, you can see what we've got. So we've got the sketch. We're going to go ahead and extrude it now. The extrusion should be two inches. Two inch extrusion there. So there's where everything's going to happen right there. I'm going to go back into sketch mode now. I'm going to click one of the top here. And I'm going to go ahead and, and put us a little square in here because this is where the ice is going to go. I already know the dimensions of this. So I'm going to make the horizontal be 1.2. And I'll press the tab key. And I'm going to make that one be 1.65. So it looks like that. Now I need to dimension this. So I'm going to press the D key for dimension. I'll click here and here. And I want that distance to be 0.2. I'm going to do the same thing here. So bottom of the ice cube to the bottom here. I'll make that 0.2 as well. I'm going to go ahead and hit finish sketch. Or honestly, I'm just going to press the E key to get into extrude. I'm going to rotate this because I kind of need to see what I'm doing here. So I need to see an angle on it. So I'm going to press the E key. And I'm going to extrude it down. As soon as I start dragging down, it changes it over to a cut. Now I know that this cut has to be negative 1.3. Alright. If I don't put a negative, it's going to go the wrong way, isn't it? Now also on this, we're going to put what's called a taper here. So let me show you what that looks like. The taper over here. I'm going to put a 10 in there, and you see how it, it kind of flanged out, and it went the wrong way. Ice cubes don't look like that. If they did, they wouldn't come out, right? So I'm going to change that to a negative 10, and that looks like what it's supposed to. Then I'll click OK. So I've got one of the ice cube holes there. Now here's what I'm going to do. I am going to go ahead and round this thing off. So I'm going to kind of get it to where I can see every side, and I'm going to go up here to fill it. So fill it, and I'm going to click every single edge that I can. So something like that. And for the fillet, right now it says it's 0 .00. Let's make that fillet 0.17 and hit enter. So let's look at that now. That looks a little, a little bit better, doesn't it? So now we can do a rectangular pattern. So I kind of, when I do these rectangular patterns, I want to rotate it in such a way that I can see two sides of the, of the big tray. So I've got it that way. I'm going to go up here to rectangular pattern. 
If that's not there, remember I could go to create and say pattern and then choose rectangular. Either way, I'm going to get there, right? Okay, I want to say for type, instead of faces, I'm just going to say features. And I actually need to click in all of, I mean, everything here. So all the fillets are their features, right? And I want to I wanna pattern everything here. So I, mean, I might have to rotate this even a little bit just to see everything. So I've got everything selected. I'm going to rotate it back. So we're going to come over here now. And we are going to choose the side. So I'll say direction. I want to go with something like this. So I'm going to just drag this arrow up. I kind of want it. You know, I'm just kind of visualizing right now. So you can see what happened here. It said, give me a quantity of three. Well, I want two. And for the distance, to be really specific with the distance, let's make this 1.95. Now, I went the wrong way, so I can put a negative in front of that. It probably is the easiest approach. And there it goes. Now I'm going to start dragging the arrow this way. And you can see down here, this kind of highlighted. For quantity, let's put eight of those in. For the distance in between there, let's make it 10.4. All right, so I've got those all patterned out. I'm going to click OK. So let's take a look at what we've got here. It's looking pretty good. All right, so next up, this is an awful big waste of material. We don't really need all that plastic. So let's go ahead and use the shell feature. So shell is up here, and we've used it a little bit before. I'm going to go ahead and click every side. So even up here. And then I'm also going to rotate it to the bottom and click that as well. Now for the thickness here, I need to change this to 0 0.07. As soon as I do that, I can hit OK. So now when I rotate this thing around, just saved ourselves a lot of material, right? The last thing I'll add to this, and there's other things we could add to it, but I think I'm gonna I'm gonna round off these edges some more. So I'll go up here to fill it, and I'm gonna kind of click on the corner, and then I'll come up here to this corner and click it, and then I also I'm gonna want to come down here to these corners. I'll click those as well. Now I gotta rotate to get to that final one, don't I? So I rotate. And then I'll zoom in and get this one. So for this dimension, I think I'm going to just try like a 0.4. Let's see what that looks like before we hit OK. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So what I'll do, I got it, I'll hit OK. And there is an ice cube tray. Now before I exit, I would want to go ahead and hit that save button. And just to make sure everything's accurate.